Hey foodies, welcome to Green Chicken. Today we are going to make a fresh fruit cake or a fruit cake. So we are going to make it in the pressure cooker and it's going to be this of course. So let us start. So we are going to start off by heating our pressure cooker. To the pressure cooker, I am going to add in salt. So this is about one and a half cups of salt. You can also use sand if you wish to. But here I am using some salt. We need to spread the salt a little bit. Now I am going to place a bias stand and as usual a perforated plate and we have to cover it without the whistle and heat it up until we are ready with the batter. So we are going to begin making the batter by taking 1 fourth cup of butter in a mixing bowl. Make sure the butter is at room temperature. Now I am going to add in 1 fourth cup of powdered sugar, whisk it all well together. Once this is cream, I am going to add in half a cup of condensed milk to this and I am going to whip it for another minute. Now I am going to add in one fourth cup of fresh cream to this and whip it for another minute. You can also use malai if you wish to. Next pour in some vanilla essence. Now it's time to sift in the ingredients. So I'm going to take in one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of custard powder, and one cup of plain flour maida. Now I'm going to mix it really well. Now the batter looks perfect to me. So it's time to add it to the cake tin. So here I have a 7 inch utensil that I use regularly for baking my cakes in. You can also use 7 inch cake tin if you wish to. So now I am going to add the batter in. Make sure you grease your cake tin really well with some butter. So now I am going to spread this really well. So this guy is ready to bake in our cooker for 25 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean in medium flame. You can also bake this in an oven at 180 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes. So carefully place your cake inside your cooker. Cover this and make sure you don't put on the whistle and bake this. So our cake is baked and has cooled for about 10 minutes. Now I am going to take the cake out and then I am going to place it over a wire rack so that it cools down completely. So our cake is cooled completely. Now let's whip up the cream for the icing. So our cream is whipped to soft peaks. Now I'm going to add in some sugar to this. So this was about 500 milliliters of non-dairy whipping cream. Non-dairy whipping cream is already sweet. So I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar to it. Totally optional though. You can add if you wish to. So now I'm going to whip it to stiff peaks. So our cream is whipped to stiff peaks. Now I'm going to keep in the refrigerator and then we're going to work on the cake. So our cake is cooled completely and now we're going to work with it. So first of all, I'm going to remove all the dark spots in the cake by using a serrated knife. I'm also going to remove the circumference of the cake. I'm going to level the top as well. As you can see the cake is a little bit firm and we want the cake to be a little firm for this pastry or cake. So now I'm going to take some toothpicks and mark where I want the three slices to be. So you can see I have placed some toothpicks so now I'm going to place my knife over the toothpicks and I'm going to just slice the cake. This way you will get a very even layer of the cake. So like so I'm going to make the second layer as well. So now we're going to start assembling a cake so I'm going to take a little bit of the cream and apply it on the board so that our cake does not move on while we are working with it. Now comes the bottom most layer. 
you have some syrup which I have made by taking equal amounts of sugar and water and then I have mixed it really well and just smear it on top making the cake soft and moist now we are going to take a dollop of cream and we are going to place it on top So now we have to top the cream up with some fruits. So starting off with some kiwi, some orange segments, pineapples, apples, and some pomegranate. You can also add some cherries or any other fruit that you wish for. So now I am going to take some more of the cream. Just top the fruits up with some cream. So that should be good enough. Now I'm going to repeat the same process. So now I'm going to take a big dollop of cream and I'm going to place it on top. Now I'm going to start spreading it out. It's time for the sides, so I'm going to take some cream and I'm going to apply it on the sides. So this looks great, now I'm going to remove the excess cream. So this cake looks perfect to me, so I'm going to just cover the areas where the cake is shown and then we have to keep it in the freezer for about 20 to 25 minutes so that the cream sets a little bit and then we have to do the finalizing of the cake so our crumb coat is set now i'm going to add some more cream on top of this that looks a lot but it's perfect so i'm going to take it and i'm going to just spread it use any long knife or a spatula here i'm using an offset spatula i'm going to just spread it like this So you can see the excess is all on the edge now I'm going to take some more cream and I'm going to apply it here so it's time to spread it now I'm going to even the top so just take a spatula and do like this basically take the overlapping and get this to the center So now it's time to place the cake on our plate. So just take a knife and add it or place it or get the knife inside the cake. Carefully lift it and place it on your plate or board. So our cake is almost ready. I'm going to take this strawberry sticks. I'm going to place it. So now I have placed some of the rolls in the cake and I have left a little bit because it will be too mainstream otherwise. So I am going to take a little bit of our whipped cream in this piping bag and we are going to make some designs on the edge. It's time for some fruits now. So our fruit cake is all ready so make sure you try this and let me know how did this go for you thank you for watching you can find the text recipe on our website cookingshooking.in bye take care happy eating